Today I'm going to be walking you through how you can take your wallet in Zellcore, export it, and import it into other wallets so that in the event Zellcore goes out of business, you have a copy of your keys that you can still kind of import into another wallet and then move them to a hardware wallet, which is what I always suggest uh, over using Zellcore anyways. However, what we have today is I've created a demo wallet. I have a little bit of Bitcoin, a little bit of Litecoin, and what we're going to do is we're going to show you the process to extract the keys first. So what you want to do is you want to go to settings, and then you want to go to private keys. You want to make sure your wallet's selected. Now you've got two options here, and I don't use this wallet for anything other than demos, so I'm going to show the private keys on screen. However, if you are doing this, make sure that uh, you only do this in the comfort of your own home uh, with nobody looking around because it will show the keys on the screen. Normally what I would do is I would do show private key. I would take this key, I would convert it into a seed phrase, which you can use online converters that you can actually download offline, uh, or you can actually do this in Microsoft.net using the BIP39 library, which is how I like to do it. So this is actually a sample program that I have in Microsoft.net. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna convert our private key to seed phrase. So I went ahead and pasted that in there. And I'm just showing you this for demo purposes only. So here we can see we actually have a seed phrase. However, if we take the seed phrase and we try to import it into anything, it's gonna tell us no accounts are found. And that is because it looks like Zellcore isn't using the standard uh, BIP39 paths, and essentially this is rendering any type of seed import useless unless you know the custom path to use, which I wasn't able to locate anywhere for all of the coins. So what that means is we can't do a seed phrase import. It's very important to understand. If a wallet does a restore via seed phrase, this will not work. And so as a test, we can actually grab this I'm going to copy this, and I have the Electrum wallets. So I've got uh, the Bitcoin Electrum and the Litecoin Electrum. So let's go ahead and open the Bitcoin Electrum. And what we're going to try to do is we're going to do Restore. And we're going to say Standard Wallet. And we're going to say I already have a seed. Next, if we paste in that seed phrase that got generated, say options, and say it's a BIP39 seed. Hit next. And hit detect existing accounts. There you can see no accounts found. And that's because it's expecting this path, uh, or really any of the paths, uh, any of the three standard paths. And that's not the case. So unless you specifically know the path, you can't import using seed phrase. However, fortunately, Electrum does allow you to use the private key directly. Not all wallets do this, but Electrum does. And that's what we're gonna do today. So to do that, we're gonna hop back on over to Zellcore. And close here. And this show private key and WIF. This is the wallet import format, which is essentially a compressed version of the private key and the path within a specific coin only. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna type Bitcoin here. We're gonna copy this. Now we're gonna go back to Electrum. And we'll actually hit cancel here. We'll start from scratch. So we'll do file, restore, and this time, instead of doing standard wallet, we're going to say import address or private key. We're going to paste in that private key. Hit next. Uh, if you want to encrypt it, you can enter a password. We're just going to hit next. And here you can see we now have access to our wallet and it actually brought in an unconfirmed transaction. That transaction I sent to the demo, I think is still confirming on the blockchain which is why it's showing as zero. Uh, but after 
it, maybe 30 minutes or so this should go confirmed and would be spendable but here you can see it is now on the blockchain and we can see our balance everything is in electrum so we are, we're able to import that wallet so on the other side of things if i hop back on over and i open ltc electrum hit next hit next and once again we're going to do the import i'm going to hop back on over to zellcore from this drop down i'm going to do litecoin copy that and then head back on over to electrum paste that in hit next hit next and then it's going to give us a pop-up um, to check for the latest version i'm just going to say no to that right now and also on this one we can see that it's imported it is unconfirmed it doesn't have any confirmations yet either And there you can see the balance is zero, the unconfirmed is 0.001 LTC, uh, but it is imported. So we're just gonna let this sit for a few minutes and make sure both the LTC and the BTC are confirmed and that we can successfully send out the transaction. Both blockchains are fully confirmed now. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and try to send some Bitcoin. So we can see there are plenty of confirmations. We got 14, so we're gonna go over to send. I've got a wallet address that I created in a separate Zellcore account just for testing purposes. And if we plug in the max here, let's see if we can go ahead and actually send this transaction out. So it says payment sent. We hop on over to Zilcor. Let's go ahead and grab a Litecoin address as well. And let's try the Litecoin one. We're going to do send. Put in that address. Do max again. Hit pay. Hit send. Payment sent. Sent and unconfirmed. And here we can see the Bitcoin has hit it. So that transaction is successful. Let's just make sure the Litecoin one shows up. And there's the Litecoin transaction. So we confirm that we're able to export, import, as long as that wallet supports the with private key import feature, uh, if it only supports regular private key, or if it only supports seed phrase import, we cannot use those wallets, but we are able to use the with import wallet and actually send those funds out. And then just as a final test, if we come back over and we take a look at the demo wallet, here we can see that we actually sent out the Bitcoin so that balance is zero. The Litecoin wallet, if we hit details here, let this thing refresh, we should see a withdrawal here. And there we go. We go back to the demo wallet. We can see those are now zeroed out. So all of the crypto has been sent from those wallets uh, to new wallets.